we are going to have only maths so much of maths diet we are going to have in our too much of it all right and uh, we have to give priority to uh not this paper uh this is the sample paper was this the sample paper yes yes ma'am mm -hmm. so mcqs yesterday mcqs we finished with and question number 2 i finished with this the part mm -hmm. exactly yeah so one second let me just get this yeah all right hriday you are ready to attack maths lots of work you have to do ha huh? now right over there this is t b s sample paper and maths correct if the length of each side of a rhombus is blah and one angle is 60 then the lengths of the uh, diagonals now this is based on pythagoras theorem what does rhombus mean parallelogram with equal sides how do you draw it you draw it like this correct you remember like this jayshika this is equal to this and this is equal to this and they bisect each other at 90 degrees what are the diagonals so draw the diagram remember tip number 1 is always to draw the diagram all right jayshika yes ma'am yes ma'am ah. okay so what a stupid uh, rhombus i do but a b c d hmm and they are saying that each side is 8 cm so this is 8 cm everywhere and one angle is 60 so this is acute angle this will be 60 degrees correct so if this is 60 degrees yes, then ha huh, so you will write over there ab equal to bc equal to cd equal to ad equal to 8 cm then what else we will know that ac is perpendicular to bd correct yeah yes ma'am and also we will have we'll call this as o so ao equal to co and bo equal to do and club this together and what you say diagonals what is the property diagonals of rhombus write it pata pata okay bisect what do we do ha bisect each other at 90 degrees yeah you remember that all right yes, so now let us call this as statement number 1 2 and 3 uh, and 4 let us say like this hmm so uh this 60 degrees that will also get bisected now now there are two ways of doing this either say that the diagonals bisect the vertical angles so each one of this becomes 30 degrees. degrees oh this is not pytho this is trigo do you have trigo yes ma'am we have all 13 chapters everything you have right yes ma'am term 1 and term 2 okay or if you how many marks this is four marks now okay so then 5 6 7 7 this will be for uh, can you see that aob in triangle aob and triangle aod ships i wrote down but and triangle aod can you see what is common ao is common ao equal to ao which is the common side then can you see this is 90 and this is 90 here so angle aob equal to angle aod equal to 90 degrees and that will be from statement 2 can you see statement 2 is this ac perpendicular and bo is equal to do this will be from statement 4 so you will have eight statement there for the two triangles triangle aob congruent to triangle aod in case you all have forgotten 
This will be from statement 567. And what you will say? It is S A S, -A -S correct? So it is S A S test for congruency. And therefore, this angle over here, this one is equal to this one. So angle it will be O A B equal to which angle O A D. And that will be equal to half angle A. And this will be from statement 8 and C, P, C, T, C. Has Pearl joined in? Yes, ma'am. Okay, half into 60 degrees, which is equal to how much? 30 degrees. Now, if this is 30 degrees, this angle, uh, what are they asking us to find? Find the length of the diagonal. So we have to find BO and you have to find AO. Ma'am. Ah. Ma'am, a question. Uh, why can't we directly state that the perpendicular from a uh, perpendicular from vertex by six uh, angle into two equal halves? When I did this, I told you it is for four marks, so I will write this. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Okay, because I don't want the teacher to say, why did you do shortcut? I'm going to cut your one mark. I don't want that. Okay, ma'am. Okay, understood? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Yes, ma and it's it's not difficult. Is this difficult? It's not difficult. Hannah, right now what are we going to say? In right triangle A O B. If I take sine of 30 degrees, what will I get? Sine 30 degrees powers, it will be opposite upon this. So BO upon 8. Say yes, ma'am. AB, let us write yes. A. Yes, ma'am. AB, which is equal to BO upon 8. Sine 30 is half. Do you know the table by heart? Correct? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. And so, oh dear me. उसको अभी थोड़ा सा एक्सटेंड करने पड़ेगा। हाँ, so therefore you will have BO equal to uh, BO equal to eight upon two, right? Four centimeters. Which is equal to four centimeter. Then you will say uh, in right triangle uh, AOD. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We can't use similar. Then eleventh one. Therefore, AC equal to BO plus DO, which is equal to four plus four, which is equal to eight centimeter. And for this, we will write uh, this statement. That is statement number ten. And also, BO equal to DO means four. Are you with me? Hello. Now, 12th one. What should we take now? We want AO. So, 430, this is adjacent means it is cos. So, you will say in a right triangle, AOB cos 30 degrees will be equal to AO upon AB. So, cos 30 means root 3 upon 2. Please learn the values by heart. I have given you so many methods by which you can remember this, right? So AO, we do not know, and this is 8. So therefore, AO will be equal to 8 goes that side. So it is root 3 upon 2 into 8, 2 ones and 2 fours. So that will 1. be 4, 4 root 3. Uh, we don't need this just now, 1.732. Okay, just write this. And now 13th, what you will say? AO equal, no, not AO, AC equal to AO plus CO, correct? Which is equal to AO means 4 root 3 plus 4 root 3, which will be equal to 8 root 3. And last step, me you should substitute this way. 
Understood? And this AO plus CO, uh, this will be from diagram. And then when you're adding this, this will be which statement? Statement 12. And AO equal to CO is 3. So we have on the diagonals. So this was your first diagonal. And this is going to be your second diagonal. And 14th one, they are saying find the area. Did they say area? I forgot. Bola tha na? Area bola tha na? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Area of rhombus. What is area of rhombus? Is equal to half D1 into D2. So that is half D1 means 8 multiplied by 8 root 3. Are you with me? So this is 2 goes 4 times. Now 8 root 3 we already have over here. So that multiplied by 4. So you know how to do this. Centimeter square. Okay. 4 mark. Hey, 4 mark. Can I take it down? Can I clean it? Clean. 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 Jaldi bolo. Clean. 